Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's currently a Sunday and I'm down at the marina, baby. And that only means one thing, that we're going out fishing. So uh, I've got a few scallop frills with me today and I've got a couple of scary eels that we might even go and try for a few pollock now. We're on neat tides at the moment. It's a six meter high and a 4.4 meter low. So uh, the tides ain't that good. So I don't know what the fishing's gonna be like, guys. And we're gonna be doing the lobster pots later. So uh, I know that there was no bait in them, but we can still get some lobsters and crabs. So. Uh, yeah, I hope you stay tuned with us. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. The amount of people that watch this channel that ain't subscribed is uh, phenomenal. So uh, if you could all just hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. It costs you nothing. So go on, hit that subscribe button for me. Anyway, let's get to it, guys. Let's start making our way down to the boat. Get out there. I hope you enjoy the journey out. And yeah, let's go and catch some fish. So guys, we've made it up to the north coast. I've had a few drops already. I've tried with the Scary's Lure and I've tried with my feathers to no joy. So I'm gonna have one more drop, but Darren's been hitting into some mackerel down on the east coast. So uh, he's going down to St. Martin's Point Turbot fishing. So we might join him guys, because he said that I could have some mackerel off him, which is nice of him. So we're gonna have a couple of drops here, see what happens. If I get anything, I'll obviously film it. But if not, we'll be heading down to the point and meeting up with Darren. Bit of a waste of fuel coming up here, but always worth a try. So uh, yeah, let's see what we can get you. So guys, we've had a few drops down here and literally there's nothing on the sounder. We've had nothing. So we're gonna start making our way down to Guernsey Southeast Coast to the Great Bank. And let's go for those Turbot Brelham rays. Hopefully get a few rays today on these nip tides guys. So yeah, hope you enjoy the trip. Let's go. <laughs> So guys, we arrived at the point. Darren's in the background. He's hooking into sand eels and mackerel. So we're going to get the feathers down first. Hopefully we get some bait up and then we'll start doing a bit of turbot fishing. If not, I'm going to go over to Darren and we're going to raid him of his mackerel that he's had. So uh, it's a little bit lumpy out here, guys. Bit of a swell. Southeast wind against tide. So uh, yeah, it's a bit lumpy, but we'll try and get you some fish, guys. Nip tides, I'm not expecting a lot, but there could be a few Raymondos. Let's get to it. Just dropped a live sand eel. And I wasn't expecting anything, and we got something big on here. I literally just got a live sand eel. I've seen the rod knocking. Well, it's not that big now. It felt big just a second ago. It doesn't feel like a dogfish. 
It's definitely ain't a dogfish. What's this, guys? It's a turbo. I wouldn't have them believe it. Look at that, guys. I've been down two seconds. Two seconds I've been down and I've caught a turbot already. Absolutely fantastic. You couldn't make that up. Look at that. I've literally just got that sand eel and we've caught a turbot straight away. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Anyway, I'm going to get him off the hook. I'll give you a better glimpse of him. Fantastic. First turbot, I think. No, it's not the first turbot of 2021, but uh, still a fantastic size turbot. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to get it off the hook. And yeah, give you a glimpse of it, like I said, and we'll get back down. Woohoo! Glad I came up here now. Beautiful hook up as well. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. You can't beat that for a hook up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go get some more. So guys, we've got both rods down now. Um, we've came up for another drift. I'll give you a glimpse of the uh, setup that I'm using for the turbot. There's the turbot there, guys. That's probably a four pound turbot, that. That's a lovely turbot, that. Absolutely fantastic. It's two eyes at the top, big mouth. That opens right up like that, as you can see. And straight down there, guys, that's where they feed. So, uh, uh, absolutely fantastic. They, look, they don't like to be put on their back. Um, you watch this, ready? They hate it. They yeah, did the flip. They don't like being put on their back, guys. So uh, I'm going to keep an eye on these rods and hopefully one of them goes off and we can get another turbot. So guys, just give you a glimpse of the rods I'm using. I'm using an ugly stick, seven foot six rod, 20 to 30 pound class. We're using Penn Squall 20 reels. Absolutely fantastic reels. Loaded with 40 pound mono. And the rig is just an eight inch boom, guys. I'll just give you a glimpse of it. It's an 8 inch boom, I've got an 8 inch watch weight on the bottom as well Just to a bead, then to a swivel, then a 6 foot trace duh, 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 Running all the way down to a 6 oh cox and roll guys And all I've got there is a sand eel, which I flappered And that is a prime turbot bait guys So stay tuned, I'm going to get this rod out, I've already got one down Hopefully we can get you a turbot, if not We're going to go and do a little bit of bream fishing so guys, I've packed up the turbot fishing rods. Unfortunately, we only had that one turbot, but I'm still happy with one turbot. I literally dropped it down within two minutes. I just seen the rod bending over, so I'm happy with that. Glad that we had a turbot. But now, we're heading off to go bream fishing. for the bream is a set of feathers now these feathers have got five hooks on these are made by Andy Low, so big shout out to Andy Low. and I've just tipped them with mackerel mackerel guys sorry I've got the ear just tipped them with mackerel now I'm just on my uh, little bream spot here a load of seagulls working over there so I'm hoping that we should hit straight into some fish guys as soon as it hits the bottom there's a lot of markings on the bottom so that's a that's a good sign so just waiting for the line to reach the bottom now and all I'm going to do is let it hit the bottom I'm just going to give it a little bit of line and I felt a bite already so here we go That's definitely a bite fish on yep fish on guys yep Bit of black bream. We need a few bream for pot bait, see, so. And scad and stuff like that. Ah, this, is, this feels like a bream. And it is. And it's a not a bad one, neither. It's a lovely little bream, that. That's going to be uh, going for pot bait, guys. A lovely little black bream there. Fantastic. So we get straight back down. Feathers and bait on them. Fantastic for bream fishing, in my eyes. Fish on. Yep, 
Yep, for sure. Good fun, the old black bream fishing gorge. Absolutely fantastic. Love it. Oh yeah, a couple of headbangs there. It's definitely a black bream. Not a bad one again. Another nice little black bream there, guys. We only need a few of these for the pot, so. I'm going to bake these back up and we'll go up for another drift. Guys, back up for another drift now. Just getting the line down. Lo load of seagulls working over there. Sorry, I've got the hiccups, guys. So uh, every time I'm trying to get my words, out, there was one. Get my words out. Now, there's a few markings on the bottom, which is fantastic. My line's heading straight to it. Right, we've hit the bottom. If they're there, it shouldn't take long. Yep, we got it. Yes, fish on. Another lovely black bream there, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful fish. There's plenty of these around here, guys. Absolutely hundreds of these fish. So, guys, there's the feathers fully baited with scallop frills now if this don't catch bream i don't know what will so uh yeah i'm hoping we can hit into a few black bream get a few bits of pot bait go and do the pot to make our way in it'd be a fantastic video so yeah we'll get these down and hopefully some bream want to jump on it fish down there Yeah, fish on. Oh, this feels like a better one. This feels like a better bream, guys. Oh, yeah. What the hell's this? Well, that's going well. Gonna be a nice one, isn't it? Oh, it's going really well. That's a big beast. We hooked him in the side of the face. That's why he was going so well, guys. Check that out. That's what you call a black bream. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get some more. Then we can get onto those lobster pots. So we'll go down again, hopefully, get some more blacks. We've got one, two, three, four, four. We only need a couple more black green guys and then we can go and do the lobster pots, you know? It's been a thoroughly enjoyable day. And uh, especially now, because that tight, that wind's back right off. It's nowhere near as lumpy as what it was just before. So yeah, all in all, it's turned out to be a good uh, little evening. And there's plenty of markings below us. So that's always handy as well. There we are, look, bite, 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 bite. Fish on. Yeah, I got him. I got him, guys. Straight away. Feels all right, this. All right, we've got a double hook up there, guys. The top one be getting kept, the bottom one won't. The bottom one will go back. That's too small, that one. Back that goes. We'll get it straight back down because we've still got bait on. There's thousands of markings down there at the moment. Absolutely, that's calm down, mate. Absolutely thousands. So we're going to rush down there before the tide takes us over the mark. Right. There, reach the bottom. Oh, I got it. Yeah, fish on. This one's going well again. 
one might be a big one, guys. A lot of weight to this one. Head bangs, biting all the way up. Look at that. <laughs> we got a triple shot of bream. One, two, three. Fantastic. Straight into a shoal there. One. Two. Thought that went well. Three. Let's see if we can get one more. Get it straight down there. The markings have disappeared, but we'll see if we can get one more. So we'll do this drop, guys, then we're going to head off. We're going to do the uh, three traps that I can get onto, the lobster pots. See if we've got anything in there. Probably haven't, but it's always worth to have a look, and we'll see if that one that was tangled is, is on done or not. Whether the tide has pulled that out or not, I doubt it, though. Oh, he's off. Oh, he come off. Come off, guys. Well, we're still on him, so we we'll drop straight back down. Black bream fishing, I love it. Oh, now I've got one on. Not a big one, but we got one on. It's not a bad one, I'll tell you that now. Lovely black bream. What have you? Get straight back down there. We've only got a little bit of bait left on the feathers. I'm not going to put no more on, so. It's going to be it, guys. Then we're going to start making our way and go do these lobster pots. Uh, there weren't really a lot of bait in them, so I'm not expecting any lobsters. So if we do get a lobster, it's a bonus. Yep, for sure. I'll get him. Yeah, I've got him. I've got him, guys. Not for fish on. I say there's plenty of black bream in the Channel Islands. There's absolutely loads of them. And that one's a bit small, so we're going to chop that one back. We don't really need them anyway, guys. So I'm going to get these baits off these feathers. We're going to start making our way to the lobster pots. Hopefully we get a big one. So guys, I've been spied on, look. There's a drone there spying on me. Off it goes. <laughs> anyway guys, first strings up. Never had a drone, a drone flying above me. First strings up, first pot. Load of brown edible crabs in there. Absolutely no good to us whatsoever. They're all small, none are in size. Second pot, look at that, no bait, and we got a lobster. <laughs> It's not the first time that's happened. We're going to check that for size. Uh, it might just be a little bit out that. And in the smash fishing pot, guys, I'll just get him out. Have a lovely wrath. Look at that. Now we're going to let that wrath go. Straight back down it goes. And just a little lady crab, if you can see it there, guys. Velvet swimming crab. 
So anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to bake these up. We'll play them out and hopefully I don't get droned again. So guys, creel traps are up, absolutely nothing. Like I said, they had no bait in. So a couple of brown edible crabs in the first one. And then the second one, we've just got a little prawn lobster. Absolutely beautiful to see, but he's only a midget. So I'm gonna chuck him back. I've also got a string missing, guys. Back down he goes. I've also got a string missing. That's the one that's caught. That's the smash one that we've just pulled. This is the creel one. I've got my yellow one over there and I've got one more somewhere guys so uh just stay tuned hopefully we can find that one Unfortunately, I've got a string missing now. Um, it probably got stuck. The rope probably got stuck in the rocks on the big spring tides that we have recently. So I'm going to have to wait for the next spring tide to see if we can uh, go and find it, guys. I've had one missing there before and we found it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start making our way in now, guys. Get home. So guys, we're back in. That's another trip of inglorious fishing. We went out turbot fishing. We have one little turbo there. She's just on the three pounds. So the old man's gonna have that. He'll get a few little uh, fillets out of that and that way he can have a nice meal. So all in all, it weren't bad. We got the, um, we did the bream fishing as well and we tried the lobster pots. Unfortunately, we got a string missing, but I'm sure it'll pop back up guys. It, they don't just disappear unless a boat's run over it and uh, accidentally cut the bobber off, but hey. That's fishing and that's how it goes. So uh, yeah, hopefully it'll come back. So anyway, guys, if you like the channel, like, subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more. Be able to go live in less than three weeks now. So I can't wait for that. Plus there'll be a giveaway as long as the reel's here in time. So uh, we'll see you next time, guys. It's Danny from Inglorious Fishing. Like and subscribe. See you next time, guys.